Did you know that you might be destroying your crystals? Or technically fixing them. From a certain point of view. It's something very common. It's something very specific to certain minerals. And a lot of people do it. Why does amethyst and why do certain other minerals fade in the sunlight? Stay tuned. <laughs> Look, I am deathly allergic to cringe. It's a miracle that I'm still alive after having to video edit and hear my own voice. But there is one thing that makes me cringe with more vitriol than anything else, and that's somebody coming into the rock shop, buying a piece of amethyst and saying, this is going to look great in my garden. Amethyst, if you didn't know, is the purple to violet variety of the mineral quartz. However, it will often fade when left in direct sunlight. So the purpose of my video today is to explain why this happens. First, though, we need to understand how amethyst gets its color in the first place. Because it is intrinsically tied to our answer. Quartz is silicon dioxide, and it is common to find any number of inclusions or chemical impurities within quartz. In the case of amethyst, a few atoms of iron replaced some of the silicone or silicon in the crystalline structure. But that's not all that we need to get amethyst, mind you. The soon-to-be amethyst crystals were also affected by radiation, likely due to radioactive minerals that had formed nearby and are now long gone. This radiation caused atomic level structural damage within the crystal. Radiation is energy, mind you, and it caused some of these iron molecules to reach an excited state, or energized state, and effectively get a big old case of the zoomies. But here's the thing. These iron molecules got stuck outside of their normal place in the chemical structure. And in order to maintain neutrality, some electrons, the little bits orbiting the individual atoms, if you remember, your high school chemistry class, moved into the normal spot for the iron. Lots of technical mumbo jumbo, but what did this do? Well, this atomic level structural damage to the crystal affects how light is reflected and absorbed by it. Its technical term is a color center. And in this specific case, we see purple, which means amethyst. So then that begs the question, how does direct sunlight cause amethyst to fade? Well, sunlight, like radiation, is also energy, and it can cause those iron molecules to get the zoomies again and return to their normal place, fixing the damage and returning the quartz to its original color, clear or milky. Now, it is important to tell you that not everything gets its color from a color center, so not everything will fade like this in direct sunlight. However, for the minerals that get their color from color centers such as amethyst, smoky quartz, citrine, topaz, and some others, it is a concern. Also, some minerals experience color changes due to oxidation reactions or other coloring mechanisms. Finally, this isn't something that happens overnight, at least on average. We're talking prolonged exposure, so a quick trip outside into the sun with your favorite amethyst pendant isn't going to cause fading. So don't be alarmed. TLDR, don't leave amethyst out in your garden if you want it to stay purple. Hey there, thanks for watching. If you liked what you heard, please consider liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you didn't like what you heard, then I thank you for listening this long. And a special thanks to my Patreon and Mineral of the Month Club subscribers. You all quite literally rock. I'll see you in the next video. Stay shiny, my friends.